All right, now let's talk about the dialysate water cultures that you need to collect. At this point, you should have already learned how to collect the water cultures. Uh, you need to keep this separate in your mind from dialysate cultures. So water cultures is different from dialysate cultures. And it's just a reminder, if you click on the wrench right up here, that'll bring you into this table with all these options. Click on the sample button at the top. You'll see the two options over here on the left. You've got water culture sample and you've got dialysate culture sample. Okay, again, these need to be collected before the very first treatment on Tableau when the patient first initiates dialysis with us and then monthly thereafter. So this is done once a month. Water cultures are separate from dialysate cultures. So while we're here, let's continue with dialysate culture. Here's some of the supplies you'll need for the dialysate culture that you don't need for the water culture collection as seen in the other video. You gotta grab your uh, jug of bicarb, it's got the blue label. And by the way, the expiration date is down here at the bottom. I'll go ahead and put that behind the machine next to the blue dialysate cap coupling, if you will. You'll need a red acid jug. And again, the contents are right on it. This happens to be a 2K or 2 potassium, 2.5 calcium. And again, the expiration date is at the bottom. I'll put this back here next to the red coupling. And then you also need one package of straws. There's two straws in one package. These are shipped to you by outset, okay? So I'm already in this screen for the dialysate culture. We'll just go ahead and continue here. So I'll highlight dialysate culture like that. It should be highlighted in blue. And then this option down here at the bottom, take dialysate culture sampling. I'll go ahead and select that. Now, I don't know if you could hear that click on the video, but the machine is starting to prep the water in anticipation of culture collection. Now, this screen here says select concentrates, okay? So the machine needs to know what dialysate bath you are on. I did just read it right off the jug, but if you are on a 2K bath, you'll select 2K bath here. If you're on a 3K bath, you'll select 3K accordingly. So since we have the 2K, we'll go ahead and push on that potassium button. You can see it automatically defaults to two. Most patients are in a 2K. So we'll hit save. The next option is calcium. We'll select that calcium button and it defaults to 2.5. Pretty standard for most baths, 2.5 calcium. Next, it asks you, is the bicarb expired and it defaults to no, okay? Don't be fooled and put yes there, thinking yes, I, I checked. The answer is no, it's not expired, okay? Once you've got that filled out, the orange highlighted button down here, continue, does illuminate, and you can select that. Now this is gonna walk you through what to do with the jugs. You can see in the video here on the screen, it literally shows you step-by-step step what to do. Put the jug down, take the cap off, put the straw in the cap, and place in the jug. Okay, so I'm gonna do just that. Take the lid off, take the lid off of your jug. I'm gonna get a straw ready. Take the red cap off the back of the Tableau. The straw has a beveled edge, you see that? It's a beveled slanted edge and it has a flat end. You want the flat end to go into the back of the red cap and you should kind of hear that pop. You'll hear and feel it. Once you've done that, put it right into your acid jug. It does not need to snap down. It doesn't need to seal in place. Just set it right down in your acid jug, okay? Once I've done all those steps, I'm gonna select continue. And as you can see in the animated video, it's gonna walk me over now to my blue jug, which is the bicarb. As the video shows, take the cap off. I'll get my other straw ready. I'll take the blue dialysate cap off the back, okay? With the flat end, I'll put it in there, push it till you hear the pop, and then I'll put this inside the blue bicarb jug, okay? So I've read it, see it, do it. That's something we like to say here at USA Home Dialysis. Read it, see it, do it, okay? Once all those steps are complete, and I'm paying uh, close attention to make sure I've done every step, I'll hit continue. Now we get this screen where the machine is gonna suck up the contents of the acid and base, prepare the dialysate for us, and get ready for testing.